Hello again, my friends. Uh, maybe you've seen my new 250 quad build project, let's say. Uh, currently, I'm stuck because one of the motors uh, has some, uh, some issues. I think the magnets fell off. Uh, bang good uh, guys that sent me the the quad for a review uh, were kind enough and sent me a replacement uh, but that is not yet uh, has not yet arrived to me as you can see this one spins freely but this one so okay until I, I get the replacement so I, I'll be able to to fly the the 250 quad uh, also, as a, as a free sample from Banggood, I want to thank them for this. is the latest and smallest uh, 5.8 GHz uh, 32 channel 200 mW uh, FPV transmitter. So this is, I think, the perfect uh, the perfect VTX for your mini quads. Uh, because I think it's so good and so compact and so small, I, I wanted to dedicate a separate uh, small presentation, review, whatever you want to call it, which is uh, now. Uh, to be honest, it's really, really small and tiny. So I will just uh, open the, the small box so you can see inside it just says mini transmitter and uh, the specs I, I mentioned before. I will link the Banggood product page for, for, for it, yeah. Okay, let me just open it. It has some uh, small instructions, which is basically all you need. How to set up your channels, it's really important. The, the socket, yeah, which pin does what, this is really important because most of the Chinese product uh, don't have this information and you can burn your, your module. And here the specification and the, the group uh, selection for, for each channel. So basically you have eight channels and you have uh, four groups, A, B, C, D. And by, by, by choosing each one of those you have eight by four, 32 combination. And the best thing about this, uh, this little module is that it is uh, compatible with the fat shark frequencies. So that's why I think it's so, so great. This is it, it's so so tiny, uh, yeah, you can see 32 channel, you have the, the socket, yeah, the, the voltage, so it goes also on 4S, it's perfect. So power, ground, audio in, video in, and uh, MIN1, I don't know exactly what this does. It's a normal socket, so you have it here. Also the video, it's configured, uh, I think it's working on Mobius also. The power, the voltage, and uh, the socket inside. Uh, you have a standard uh, ducky antenna, but you, you put a spironet or whatever. And you have an extra, extra socket connector already soldered on this end. So you can just uh, set it up the way you want. You can configure it differently. You can uh, solder it to use a different uh, yeah, camera setup, whatever you need. So I think it's really good, as you can see it's really really tiny. I just want to put the camera on a scale so you can see the weight. Okay, I hope you see it now. Okay, it's 0.0, .0 so I put it on the scale, it's 7.3 grams. Let me zoom in just a little bit, so... Yeah, 7.3 grams, so it's really really light. Just as a comparison for the size, uh, I brought my bigger Terot 650 quad here. Uh, it's quite big, so you cannot see much, but I just want to show you the a normal uh, Chinese uh, FPV camera, uh, sorry, VTX video transmitter, is this one. It's on 5.8 gig and it has 200 milliwatts of power. So you can see it and look at the the mini transmitter from Banggood. It's really really tiny. I think it's half half the the width. And of course you can you can put this uh, spironet or whatever on it. So. No problem. 
so it's really really tiny and to be honest if the frequency will be confirmed as on the specification which I think it will then I'm really happy that uh, this product exists on the market because it's compatible with uh, I think mostly all the of the FPV frequencies so far but additionally it's compatible also with the, the fat shark frequencies which makes it really great because it's small it's tiny it has 200 milliwatts so in good condition this will cover around one one kilometer range and it's really really cheap compared to a fat shark uh, transmitter so this is it uh, i will come back with the test uh, and i really hope uh, Indeed, this specification, which matches the fetch arc frequency, will prove to actually work. And in this case, I really strongly suggest that uh, all these tiny uh, 250 quads will use this kind of uh, mini transmitter, because it's really, really small, tiny, it goes also on 4S uh, power and uh, it's it's really nice and light yeah so for this kind of quads and not only uh, this uh, mini transmitter i think it's really really a good product to have so maybe i will uh, change also the the video transmitters that i have also on my tarot 650 that that i just show you and also on my flip fpv which has uh, the another standard uh, standard video module so i'll come back later like i promised uh, to see how these things flies and to show you uh, how these things uh, this thing works uh, using the fetcher goggles so uh, again really really tiny this is what you will get in the package uh, together with the manual which is really nice to have it has good clear information about channel selection and so on which is not very common on Chinese products personally I think it's uh, something uh, it's really worth uh, the money spent and which is I think around $30 or so okay until I uh, update the, the video showing how it works thanks again for watching and fly safe Ciao, bye bye.